Respectfully, you need to stop hanging your curtains like this, especially if you're in a small space. When your curtains are hung close to the window like this, the room feels small and closed in. But when your curtains are hung wider and taller, it creates the illusion that the room is way bigger. Plus, the curtains insulate the home and take up empty wall space, saving you money on heat and wall decor. And one of the things they found, these baboons, they had these like really rough alpha males, like evil, mean, yeah. brutal, bully alpha males. And they were uh, getting food from this resort. They were getting food from the garbage. Yeah. So like hundreds of them would go to the, the, the garbage in the resort. The mean ones got to the garbage first. It turned out the garbage was poisoned. Mm. Like the garbage had some something in it that was poisoned. Yeah. So these chimps died off. So the alphas died. And then everybody chilled out. And so this gr troop, I guess, of baboons for like, I think a decade, yeah, were like decades. peaceful and oh, cool. Nice. Like it somehow, and then it eventually devolved back to bully alphas.
Watch the lemon. Mm -hmm. Oh. Why'd you? Uh, <laughs> Where are the lemons are? <laughs> God, who showed you that trick? <laughs> oh, that was very interesting. Brace looking for correction. What? <laughs> you mean Brace looks for correction like this? Oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah, this explains why sometimes you have issues, maybe understanding things immediately. Oh, maybe there is some poor correction somewhere. Oh, what do you think, man? This is interesting. Okay, I'm testing out the angle grinder wind turbine Mark II. I've taken out the universal motor and jammed in a, a DC motor. Uh, you can convert those universal motors to produce electricity, but it's, uh, it's a bit of hassle. It's a lot easier just to stick in a DC motor and spin it backwards. Generates electricity. Enough to power my Christmas tree, hopefully. Yes! Now the wind is going to be a lot stronger tomorrow, so I'm hoping to power this induction coil and uh, generate a bit of heat. But we need a stronger wind, so maybe tomorrow. It's the invention of Detective Pete Smith. I think it would uh, be possible to uh, maybe uh, recreate my image on the screen. Detective Smith explains how it works. A straight hair with a temporal recession. A round chin, medium ears, curved eyebrows. Their eyes are medium, but they would describe them as being pitched up slightly. A straight nose with a straight baseline, rather small mouth, and now this face should be broadened. The chin line brought up, broadened slightly more. Perhaps the nose up a hair and I believe that that's how witnesses would describe you. Called a variable image reflector, it will shorten from several hours to a few minutes the making of identification sketches. It will make obsolete the drawing of mugs like this. Oh, that is incredible! Welcome to others, areas and what? Live, live monsters, of course! Oh my god, what are these things now? Are these areas, monsters, crazy steps of drawings, or some guy there from the past who was a um, psychopath who was obsessed with crazy stuff, stuff like these ones, and he just come to some stores like this? I know people like, now in the future are thinking this was a million. How do you think this might be? Oh, because this is very creepy and crazy. Because if it's found and uh, no one from present times built this thing, so it was built by people from the past. And people from the past, how comes they had these ideas? Where did they get these ideas from? Ah, then it makes me worry if they were really primitive or uh, some truth is not true thing. Oh, what do you think? Show your thoughts on this, man. Oh my god, look at this. This looks like some big headed scar of some. What? Crazy. Oh, and some guy here is like he has a bottle of red mercury. See so how this is. Oh, oh, oh. This is not. This is not good at all. Because these guys are always surprising me. Where do they get this red mercury? This is some creepy stuff, man. Oh my god. Hmm. And they always write the date on a piece of paper. Oh my god. Incredible. I don't know why, but anyway. Much love, you see, much respect to these people even for just finding great mercury. Myself, you see, if you just tell me from right now, search for red mercury. Wow, my God. Maybe I begin searching for it in this video. So, yeah, I have no clue of where I can find it. But anyway, we are here sending love and good vibes and peace and unity across the whole world, man. Much love, guys. Share love with those around you. You see, good vibes till the end. Oh. Huh. Mm hmm. Oh, 
at this stuff. This is very creepy stuff. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what are these stuffs, I'm always eating here. These are fruits, by the way. Like the one I was eating was a mango. Now this one with those is called uh, fruit with those for this side of the one. And now lastly, this is the good fruit. This one is the last one to eat because it's always the sweetest. What's this the end, man? You are out there, respect me. And you can tell us so if where you come from, there are such types of fruit, you see? Like now this is what do they call it. Here we call it zoni fruit or fruit with zones. And we just love it. You see, it's incredible. It tastes like, uh, it just tastes like the universe. <laughs> and good vibes, you see. Oh, this is incredible. Huh. Mm -hmm. What is this now? Oh my god. That's those guys that have been hitting the rake battle. And there are very few people that have hit the super than. Josie, pick up to yourself, man. You see, you sent some Christmas gift and it's incredible. May God bless you and the universe reward you and your family generous. And all those people that are watching and are good vibes, you see. Even if you have not hit the super thanks, but you are winning is only that maybe you are not able. You see, that good win is good. Be blessed because of that, you see. Instead, hit the like button. And watch till the end and leave your comment there. You see, it's all about good vibes and peace and love. Oh, like now, this uh, baby here is like this baby was taught some good manners, and as I've seen, their parents here are sleeping, huh? And they are concerned about their parents. What do they want to do? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe they want to Unless sit with them. Walk back to you after you lost it. Don't say shit about my little Roku TV. Hey Roku, where are you? Oh. oh, oh, oh my God! Which country is this? It looks like there is a country where people use tractors to travel as a mode of transport. Oh my God! This must be a muddy country. Oh, what is this? Were they showcasing something or what? This is uh, amazing. Oh, my God. Looks to me what if they were just passing there or is what people used to travel. You see, it doesn't matter where you used to travel as long as you're good with people. Is it coming? It's coming to say hi. Oh. Look at this. to you yeah oh he loves you oh yeah oh to me. Yeah. <laughs> he says hi hello oh my god that's crazy and he's scared I mean, some guys were just chilling there in the water down there, drinking their wine and all that. Oh my god, it's hard to believe and think about it. Thanks for watching up this far, man. Hit the like button if you haven't already, you see. And watch it there to help spread this good vibe. You see, those, those, we all those videos that has passed, there's a lot of information there. Some is it's educative, funny, all that. Let me. You can leave a comment of what you think about all that, you see? In the meantime, watch it in the end. Hit the, the like button. Spread love. Love is all we are all about. And good vibes, you see? Yo, good people. Thanks to those guys hitting the like button and leaving a comment. You see, that is a good gesture that you just can't explain, you see? And in the meantime, good vibes to all people from wherever you are. Good vibes to all of you, man. And Merry Christmas to you all. You see? Let's keep watching. You can have your oscillating circuits. See those on your body? Your whole body is one big electrical crystal or one big circuit. And when you place copper around these selected areas, you enhance that circuit or meridian line. And if your cells are not spinning correctly, 
or improperly the wrong direction, you result in illness. If your cells are corrected and spinning back the opposite way, you no longer have illness. So as you can see right here, wrapping the body with copper in these different areas can help the meridian lines and the conductive pathways of your body. And this is all very cheap to do. This probably costs you 20 bucks, 20 bucks. That's it. So it's fascinating because you get into here and you talk, and, and Lakovsky used to talk about how everything was oscillating. Everything was spinning. If things are not spinning correctly, they do not function properly. So same with this fan. If this fan is not spinning the right way, it would cause illness. But if it is spinning the correct way, then we begin to heal. And somebody said, where do we get the copper? You can find copper at your local hardware store or a scrap yard. That would be the opposite one as well too. Scrapyard has so much copper. So as we get into more into these areas, everything is about the vortex. And I just, I'm gonna kind of do a little things with this. Everything talks about being in the vortex. And when things are not in the vortex or vortexing, then all types of issues start to occur. Now, what's also interesting is this book, this gets fascinating. This talks about the work of Nikola Tesla and how Nikola Tesla was creating a device in 1899 which could resonate the entire world at the Ah! Oh my god! Oh, do the god! You've probably seen some version of this floating around online. This extension cord somehow got stuck underneath this rod, and the end is too big for it to slide underneath. So we have no choice but to cut it off. Just kidding. We can pull some slack through, create a loop, Feed the loop underneath, and it's magically untangled. Oh my god, how did you do that? Looks like you magic! Have a plate. It's a breakable plate. Alright, and somebody shoves the plate, it falls, it hits the ground and breaks. It's a cat. A cat did that. A cat did that, for sure. Alright, so the plate is in front of you. You actually have to commit some kind of violence on the plate to do it. Okay. okay, so what you have to do is ask how much energy is holding this plate together. And the plate will not break unless the energy you put into it is greater than the binding energy of the molecules holding the plate together. But wait a minute, the plate that's sitting on a shelf that the cat pushed off, you're not pounding on it. You didn't pound on the plate. Mm -hmm. Nothing touched that plate. Okay, did the cat break the plate? No, the cat just showed the plate the edge of the shelf. Why did the plate break when it fell off the shelf? Because it hit the floor. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Uh, okay, um, it hit the floor with a certain amount of energy. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And the higher the location it falls from, the more energy it's going to have. Does that make sense? Uh, of course, yeah. And you know what kind of energy that is? Uh, energy of motion. So we have a word for that. Okay. Kinetic. Kinetic energy. Exactly. So the kinetic energy of the plate that it had the instant before it hit the floor, mm -hmm. you have to ask, how much energy is that compared to the binding energy of the plate? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. right and right. so does that exceed the binding energy of the plate? And if it does, the plate will break. Okay. Where did the plate get its kinetic energy from? Uh, gravity. Gravity. Okay. Uh, all right. But gravity didn't put the plate on the shelf. Okay. Who put the plate on the shelf? So, so the plate used to be at a low location. Right. And somebody walked up to the plate after it was cleaned. It was like the lower shelf of the dishwasher. They picked it up, used their energy uh -huh. to give that plate what's called gravitational potential energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the higher you put the plate, on the shelf, the more gravitational potential energy it has. Uh -huh. And then the plate just sits there in possession of gravitational potential energy. 
It just sits there. And if you dare, if the cat pushes the plate off the shelf, the gravitational potential energy swaps and becomes kinetic energy. Right. Okay. Until it has no gravitational potential energy left, which is right when it hits the floor and all that energy becomes kinetic. Mm -hmm. And this dance between kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy is what goes on in every curve and every turn of a roller coaster. Okay. Uh -huh. Ro other than the first pull up the top. Right. Okay. Where there's like chains and motors, everything else is free fall. Basically you're in free glide. All right. And so that's why when you go up a hill, you slow down. Well, why are you slowing down? Because the gravitational potential energy is taking away your kinetic energy. You could make something. If you wanted to say, I want to make a plate that doesn't break. Right. All right. So you make sure the binding energy between the molecules of the plate is greater than the energy that would, that it would be given by the cat if it fell off a very high shelf in your home. And so it's basically unbreakable for most things that would happen in your home. And so you could, ca you could calculate what that energy is and find a material substance for which that's the case. So that's where you get brake resistant. So the, the material substance of it has higher resistance to, it requires more energy to break it than what is normal and typical for a delicate wine stem. Oh. That's interesting. I don't want a full human, you see? That's what you want. It's very, very wonderful, man. That's incredible. Oh, my God. Hell. I mean, I didn't ever thought of anything about it, about that. Like that. Why is that place now? Indian Ocean. Ah, наконец-то. No, that's interesting, man, and a beautiful sight. He does not cross the street and he sits and waits for the truck every time. Oh, this is a horse dog and a horse animal, you see? It waits for the truck because it knows what's up with the truck. Oh, let's see, let's see what happens with the truck. Why does this animal, beautiful animal, wait for the truck? Maybe it's rewarded. She is the only one, the universe, and all those animals around, you see, with love and caring. Good vibes, man. Elephant caretaker returns after years away, and his elephants runs towards him. You see, let's see now. You see, this guy used to share love and compassion to these wonderful animals, you see. And now he went for some years, and he is back. And what's incredible, these animals have not forgotten the love that this guy used to share to them, you see? Because love never fades. Share love from the, to those around you. And you'll never be forgotten. Love always sticks, you see? And be caring to everybody and the universe. That way we can have a very good place. An earth full of love, joy, kindness, and good vibes. Yo, respect to yourself, man. See how this is interesting and these animals are just happy because this guy came and they can feel the love in him again you see because this guy used to do some good work of just hey, being good <laughs>